Hi guys, it's Emma. So today I'll be drawing Jared Alonji, and if you don't know who he is, I recommend checking him out. My best friend introduced his videos to me back in 2013, and I cannot stress enough how funny and creative this guy is. So in this video, I'll be telling you guys about how I ended up meeting this nerd from Tennessee. I'm not going to go into too much detail about my first warp Tour in 2014, I'll save that for another time. As of right now, I'll stick to my latest experience with Warped Tour. I got to go with my two favorite people in the world, my best friend and my boyfriend. So all dressed in our Jared Alonji shirts, we headed out early that morning. It was overcast, and we kept praying the rain would hold off, but luck is never on our side, and while standing in line, it suddenly started pouring, and it rained for 45 minutes. This was completely unacceptable, and we couldn't meet Jared like this, so we just went home. No, but really, everyone was soaking wet, and it really didn't matter what we looked like at this point. So after two hours in line, I'm not over-exaggerating, we got into the entrance. Once we dried off relatively well, we stood in line to meet Jared, because we're pathetic no-lives who idolize a guy that films himself. But actually, Jared was completely sweet and inviting. He even took a group photo with me and my stupid crew. It was pretty sweet. After those awkward photos happened, we watched some great live performances from Silverstein, Census Fail, and funny enough, Family Force 5, which ended up being the funnest crowd I'd ever been in. I'll go into more detail in another time about this particular warp Tour, so maybe sometime soon you'll hear about how I got dehydrated at Silverstein, realized Riff Raff was an actual live human being, and accidentally and unwillingly saw Attila. I hope that all four of you that watch my channel enjoyed this video, and always remember, I would literally die for pop punk.